Get ready to thrive loud with Lou Diamond. Hi, Thrive Loud listeners. Hope you guys are thriving loud out there. This is Sophia, one of the interns here at Thrive Loud. Today, I had the honor to present you a flashback to an episode we aired at the beginning of this year. A great conversation with C. Lee Smith. Lee has amazing life experiences in a broad range of areas. He's an entrepreneur, speaker, author, CEO of Sales Fuel, avid cyclist, and so much more. Go back to our fifty-sixth episode for the full story of Lee. And want to get some advice from Lee on life, business, and future? Here we go. If you could give one word of advice for the entrepreneurs out there or those who are top sales performers um, from your experience, one one piece of advice that the Thrive Lab listeners can take from you, Lee Smith. I would say make it personal. You know, which which is odd because it's like that's where I struggled. You know, out of the gate, you know, in in my career. But it's like it's, it's to make it personal because. Uh, whether it be in sales or whether it be in, in anything, it's like, you know, we live in a world then that is dominated by the internet and dominated by computers and artificial intelligence and more and more of it's coming and self-driving cars and things of that nature. So you have to ask yourself, what else can computers do instead of real people? They don't take days off. They don't make complaints to HR. They don't. Uh, they don't underperform. They, they, they don't, you know, whine and complain and gossip in the office and that sort of thing. And so obviously companies are looking to increase productivity. And it's, 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 you know, they're going to use a computer to do things instead of people wherever they can. The thing that a computer really can't do, though, is a computer, a computer or an artificial intelligence cannot connect with somebody like on a personal level and, and really motivate them to do something, to push them over the edge, you know, to, to over that hump, basically, so, so that they, they take action. So... I would say don't be afraid to make it personal. And I know that there's a lot of things happening these days or whatever where you know, you're, you're afraid to you know, maybe get to know somebody on a personal level. Obviously, there, you know, there are safeguards and there are boundaries and, and rules that you have to respect, mind you. But it's like, you know, uh, at the end of the day, basically, we all kind of want the same things and we all want people to root for us and to support us and to help us along the way. And I think it really starts with having true, genuine empathy and caring uh, you know, for your fellow person. And I, and I think that, that we've, in some respects, we've lost some of that. In some respects, we've lost our sense of humor. Uh, and I think it's a wonderful thing to have. And I think that what, what happens, though, is I, I had a mentor of mine explain to me back when I was young, uh, he said, when the pendulum swings, it swings all the way. And so the pendulum has swung now and we're very at each other's throats and, you know, we, we jump on anything that somebody says, you know, it's a gotcha moment, everything like that. The pendulum will swing back the other way where people will really value someone who has a sense of humor and, and somebody who's really warm and caring about their fellow person and everything like that. Mm-hmm. We may not be at that moment at this, at this point in history, whatever, but when the pendulum swings, it swings all the way and you just have to believe it's going to happen. And we want, I, I think everybody should be ready for that. You've been listening to Thrive Loud with your host, Lou Diamond. Make sure to subscribe on iTunes, Overcast, or wherever you get your podcasts. And follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Thrive Loud. Or find us on the web at thriveloud.com.